Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of you know that tomorrow, or October 15th, is when Dire Maul is released for Classic WoW. Now we've talked about how Dire Maul will affect gold farming methods, and we've also talked about some of the gear in Dire Maul. Uh, one thing we haven't talked about though, is how players leaving other farming locations to go to Dire Maul is going to affect prices of certain items. Currently, most people at level 60 are using Maradon to farm for gold. In Maradon, you can obviously mine certain mining nodes and you can pick certain flowers if you have herbalism. Now, one thing we have to note about this is that there's a lot of these items up on the auction house. So as everyone stops doing Maradon and heads over to Dire Maul, certain items are going to drastically go up in price. And a few of those items are very, very important for potions that are going to be used heavily in PvP come phase two. So there's going to be two reasons that those mining no or those minerals and those herbs are going to go up in value. So first off, we have limited invulnerability potions. And second, we have free action potions. Those are commonly referred to as lips and faps. Lips and faps are used heavily in PvP and also a little bit in PvE but there's not that many people probably using them right now, except um, sometimes in uh, certain situations in both PvP and PvE. However, like I said, in phase two with the PvP system being uh, launched, we're going to see a lot of people that are using these potions. And we're also going to have a lot less people in Maradon where both of these herbs for those potions are located. You have blindweed and you also have ghost mushrooms, which are needed for lips, or limited invulnerability potions. And then you also have strangle kelp, which can be herbed in uh, the pools within Maradon, and that is needed for free action potions. So both free action potions and limited invulnerability potions are going to go up in price as there are going to be less people farming those specific nodes within Maradon, and you're also going to be having more competition for those potions because of the PvP phase. So my suggestion is to try and stock up on limited invulnerability potions and free action potions now as opposed to later. I myself am going, going to be doing this. I already have tons and tons of herbs for this and I just pretty much need to craft the potions. I have some of them crafted already. Another thing you can do is look out for these uh, over the next day or so on the auction house. There's been some pretty good prices on herbs that you could be picking up. As I said, if you, ha if you have a large stockpile of herbs and you want to sell them on the auction house, hold off for maybe another week or so and you will see the price of these specific herbs and, and also mithril ore um, because, again, it's being mined and the herbs are being gathered within Maradon and these things are going to go up in price. So I personally have gotten everything that I wanted out of Maradon, made gold to get my epic mount, made enough gold to, you know, buy a ton of things off the auction house that I know are going to go up in value later on. And I also was able to get my dagger. So I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, Dire Maul now is coming out, as I've said, and as you guys know. However, one thing that we have to know is that just like Maradon, Maradon made things like ghost, ghost mushrooms drop in value quite a bit. And the same thing is going to happen in Dire Mall. There are going to be items in that drop in Dire Mall from farming that are going to make the price on the auction house go down. One of those items is Living Essence. Now, right now, Living Essence on my server goes for anywhere between 9 to like 12 gold, which is fairly uh, expensive, but it's just because there's not very many good ways of getting it right now. However, Living Essence is going to drop in value quite a bit. So if you have some Living Essence, try and sell it now. And if you need Living Essence for a pattern or a recipe or an enchantment, make sure you buy it in, say, a week's time when there's been a lot of people farming Lashers and the price has fallen quite substantially. Uh, that is also another really big tip. Uh, in general, Lasher farming is going to drop a lot of items um, that will make the price go down. One of those things, at least we saw this on private servers. Obviously, with all this, you guys have to take this with a little bit of a grain of salt because we're not positive what the drop rate of things are on these lashers. However, on private servers, lashers and things in Dire Maul had a fairly decent chance to drop 
Traveler's Backpacks. So right now, Traveler's Backpacks go for like 25 to 30 gold on Classic WoW servers. However, in the past on private servers, once Dire Mall has gone out and people have been farming it, we've seen the price go down to anywhere between 5 to 10 gold. So it's a good idea that if you haven't gotten your full 16 slot bags, just wait a little bit, see what the drop chance is like in Dire Mall, and you can maybe get those a lot cheaper as well. So we've talked about Living Essence, we've talked about the backpacks. There's also a lot of random herbs that drop off of uh, mobs in uh, when we're last year farming. So just mobs in general in Dire Mall, they're all plant-based and a lot of them drop a lot of herbs. So herb prices probably won't be affected by this too much, but I know things like Heart of the Wild uh, and and some really more common herbs that can drop off these, these mobs might go down a little bit in price. But the two big ones are Living Essence and Traveler Backpacks. And then obviously things that are going to be very expensive early on are going to be the new Librams and also class books. So if you have a lot of gold and you want to throw some gold at these items, go for it. However, if you wait a week or two and people have kind of picked up these books and picked up their Librams that they needed, those also will start to go down in price. Obviously there's going to be high demand early on and then things will go down over time. So just try and be smart anytime a new phase or new content is launched for a while we're going to see big influx and um, changes within certain items on the market and then other items will be going down while others are going up blah 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 you guys know the drill so look out for those items and hopefully this video was helpful i will see you guys in the next video see you later